Hyundai India of late has been delivering one hit after another and the latest to join that is the Elite i20 which has been doing especially well and is easily one of the best selling cars in the premium hatchback segment but with its pricing it finds itself competing with other sub 4 meter sedans which we call it as compact sedans including well from within its own family the Hyundai Accent so the problem is if a buyer has made up his mind to buy a Hyundai car within a certain fixed bracket he or she ends up facing the Elite i20 against the Accent so then here is a short comparison between the two when it comes to looks both cars follow the fluidic design language of Hyundai and look far more modern than their respective competitors but they do share some common styling bits such as the sharp and noticeable body lines hexagonal front grille stretched headlights and similar diamond cut alloy wheel design the accent is based on the grand i10 and looks almost similar until you see the additional boot which obviously puts it in a different segment altogether the elite i20 which when compared with the accent is just shorter in length has far more presence thanks to its wide and sporty stance when you have details like the wrap around design at the back black and sea pillar flat roof and bigger 16 inch alloy wheels you have to say this is a stunning car and possibly the best looking design in the premium hatch space currently if you plan to buy on basis of exterior looks alone then the accent does not stand a chance against the elite i20 inside the accent has the same interior design like the grand i10 and that is no bad thing as like all the new hyundai interiors the quality is class best and so is the long features list hop in the elite i20 however and while the design is a bit conservative you cannot fault the quality and the premium feeling that it exudes simply put it does feel richer and more premium than the cabin in the accent space wise also the elite i20 wins with more space and legroom and more importantly shoulder room for three at the back with its wide design Accent wins when it comes to boot space though. When it comes to features, choosing between the two becomes really difficult as both do really well in this regard. For example, both cars share many features like push button start, rear AC vents, multifunction steering wheel, automatic climate control, dual front airbags, Bluetooth connectivity, rear parking camera, etc. When it comes to engines in the petrol lineup Both the Elite i20 and the Accent are powered by the same 1.2 four-cylinder Kappa petrol, which makes 82 bhp and performs similar in both the cars. The only and the biggest difference here is that the Accent gets a four-speed automatic gearbox, while the Elite i20 has only the regular five-speed manual gearbox standard. While the Accent may have an advantage in the petrol engine, the Elite i20 surely wins back when it comes to diesel. as unlike the accents 3 cylinder diesel engine which produces 71 bhp elite has a more powerful 4 cylinder 90 bhp diesel engine which comes with a 6 speed manual over the 5 speed gearbox of the accent thus there is considerable difference in performance and the elite i20 diesel certainly has more performance and is more fun to drive than the accent When it comes to fuel economy, the Accent is slightly more efficient than the Elite i20, and the same goes for the price, as the Elite i20 is slightly more expensive than the Hyundai Accent. So then, in the end, choosing between the two becomes really difficult. But we think the Elite i20 strikes as a more style-oriented choice. But we think also it drives better and has a richer cabin, plus more space. However, the Accent becomes a more practical choice. if you don't want to spend the extra money for the elite i20 plus it has the boot and of course being a sedan so then it ultimately boils down to what you really want